Hi everyone, it's Brad Filipponi from BoxBrownie.com. Do you have a listing that's been sitting on the market for too long? Or maybe you've just uploaded your listing and your phone just isn't ringing. Well, you may have to reassess your marketing. In this video, we'll be talking about three different practices to market your property, including the best way that sells property fast. Okay, so to begin, we're going to analyze three different practices when it comes to property marketing. What the current practice is, what the minimum practice should be, and of course, what I consider to be the best practice. Okay, so first up is current practice. To establish what the current practice is, I went on to Zillow.com, searched up New York, and analyzed the first 40 listings that appeared on page one. The first thing I wanted to establish is how many listings have their photos edited. This is important because when a camera takes a photo, it doesn't shoot to exactly what the eye sees. You actually have to have your photos edited if you want to represent the property correctly. So when I did the analysis, I found that 26 of the 40 listings had not had their photos edited professionally, which shocked me. Next up, I wanted to establish the average property description length. This one was quite easy. I simply totaled up all the words for all the property descriptions and I divided it by 40. I found that the average property description would be only 109 words. Next, I wanted to find out how many of the listings had floor plans. Floor plans have been ranked the third most important factor that buyers want to see after photos and property description. Shockingly enough, only one of the 40 listings I analyzed had a floor plan. This means only two and a half percent of listings were actually showing the buyers what they want to see. Crazy. Okay, so last on my list was to find out how many of the listings included a virtual tour. Virtual tours are a great way to showcase your property online, especially in these times of COVID where buyers have limited access to the property. Not a single property analyze had a virtual tour attached to it. So for a quick recap, 65% of listings did not have their photos edited. 109 words was the average property description length. 2.5% of listings had a floor plan and 0% of listings had a virtual tour. Okay, so next up is what I consider the minimum practice when marketing real estate. As I mentioned before, photos are the most important factor when it comes to real estate marketing. So if you wanna give your property the best chance of selling, then you want to make sure you're shooting your photos correctly and getting them professionally edited. If you are shooting with a DSLR, make sure you're using a wide angle lens. If you don't have a DSLR, late model smartphones like the iPhone 11 or the Samsung GS10 have an inbuilt wide angle lens, which is perfect for shooting real estate. Don't shoot too wide or else it'll look like an aircraft hangar. Don't shoot too zoomed in or the photo will look too cropped in. Always make sure to shoot in landscape as well. I've seen way too many listings that have been shot in portrait mode, and this is really giving your listing disservice and is a sure way to scare off your buyers. Make sure to get your photos edited professionally as well. It's super affordable at only $1.60 per image. Easy to do and will really make your marketing pop. To do so, simply log on to boxbrownie.com, sign up for a free account, and submit a job using the image enhancement service. Within 24 hours, you'll receive your professionally edited images back and you'll be ready to hit the market. We also offer other awesome edits like item removal, which is perfect if you have some clutter in the way of your shot. Virtual staging, which is where we add digital furniture to an empty space so you can help your current client envision what the space could look like and day to dusk, which is where a daytime shot is converted to a twilight looking image, which has been shown to generate 400% more clicks when used as your hero shot. For your copy, 150 words should be the bare minimum. After all, this is the second most important factor of a listing that buyers want to see. If you're not too sure on what to write, or if you're not a natural writer like myself, 
you can always use boxbrownie.com's copywriting service. Make sure to include a floor plan as well because as mentioned before, buyers do want to see this. Okay, so for a quick recap, the minimum recommendation is shoot your photos correctly, make sure to get your photos edited professionally, include 150 words minimum for your copy, and of course, include a floor plan. Okay, last but not least is what I consider to be best practice. So first up, you wanna make sure you're doing everything as we discussed in the minimum practice, plus a few extra things. When taking your photos, you wanna ensure you're using a technique called HDR bracketing. This is where you take multiple exposures at the same angle and then we blend them together in the editing process. The result is far superior than taking a single shot and this is the secret technique to getting beautiful window detail when shooting interiors. This can easily be achieved with a DSLR camera or an iPhone 11. If you're selling a property that has some renovation potential, you should be helping your buyers envision what this could look like. To do so, you want to take advantage of an edit called virtual renovation. This is where we can digitally renovate a space into a place of your dreams. For your copy, I'd recommend including 250 to 350 words, since this is the second most important part of a listing. For your floor plan, you definitely want to be using a professionally drawn floor plan to represent your listing. All you need to do is supply us with a builder's plan, a low quality floor plan, or even a hand-drawn sketch. Simply log on to the boxbrownie.com dashboard, select the floor plan redraw option and follow the prompts. Within 24 hours, you'll receive a beautiful floor plan redraw, which will be a great addition to your real estate marketing. And lastly, you want to be including a 360 virtual tool with your listing. To do this, you'll need a 360 camera to shoot the house. Simply shoot each room in the house, including the hallways, which should only take you 15 minutes. Once you're done, simply log into the boxbrandy.com dashboard and get your photos edited using the 360 image enhancement edit. This edit will blow up the skies, replace the grass and improve the overall presentation of your 360 photo. Once your photos have been professionally edited, you want to then build them into a virtual tour. To do so, simply log on to the boxbrandy.com dashboard and select virtual tour. Load up your images and submit your job. Within 24 hours, you'll receive a stunning virtual tour that is ready and completely interactive and can be shared with anyone online. So there you have it. That's the three different real estate marketing practices that are available to you right now. If you want to market your property to give it the best chance of selling fast, Make sure to get your images edited, get a quality ad copy written, include a floor plan and a virtual tour. I hope you learned something and stay tuned for the next episode.